I don't know about y'all, but I smell me some bandits. My eyes ain't what they used to be, but that looks to me like a big ass naked bandit. I'm gonna get me some fresh god dang bandit meat. God damn, I shot me a bandit or two. Oh lord. The sheriff might be able to deal with this by himself. Careful, Sheriff. He has. The Sheriff just dealt with that whole thing single-handedly. Thank you, Sheriff. Very nice. Who have we got lying on the floor there ready to be put to work? Hello, my friend. Nine plants. And his good friend, Wilfred Barnes, with another ten construction. Very nice. Rim Rims, welcome. <gasps> Kentucky Fried Christ himself. There's more bandits. Hello. It's Mitch Everson. Oh, get him, Pickett. I haven't even named you yet. My God, this Sheriff. This Sheriff. We have the right man for the job. We have absolutely the right man for the job. I didn't even draft him up. He just got to work. Ooh, the stables. Oh, oh. God, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. And we've got a whole new person with some more plant skill. Thank you. For God's sake. Well, diddle my dangus and call me a dimwit. Uh, it seems like everything is on fire. I hope they can put that out in time because we do have the one that makes fires burn much harder than they should do. Rim Rims, I'm not going to call this Granny's Ranch 3.0, but there was supposed to be an episode two days ago that didn't come out and came out the day after, and that's because the episode was supposed to come out the day before, came out the next day. The game when I tried recording it on that day was slow and cumbersome like Granny at the hoedown. It was not running well, and that's probably something to do with the fact that we added so many mods, we got up to 600 of them. Now, you should never take mods out midway on a playthrough. Any mod are worth their weight will tell you that. So I've stripped out 130 mods. <laughs> Taking the mod pack down from 600 mods to 474. And my god, it's running. You, There's not a mod alive with that type of power. You go, you go look for yourself. It's running better than ever is what I'm getting at. So now let's get to city building. I think the most important thing Rootin' tootin' sheep lootin' is ready to reform. Actually, by quite a long way, because we completed a quest for an empire oh, oh, a little while ago. Now, I said, what should we do? Should we add a meme? Should we take away a meme? Should we do whatever? The biggest upvoted suggestion was from Sydney, and I promise this isn't nepotism, uh, but it was a fantastic suggestion. Why not have venerated elders? Respect your elders. They've got wisdom, and more importantly, Granny herself founded this town, and she built the whole thing with the sweat of her brow. She built it with the sweat of her brow. That makes her a poor building material. And I'm going to go as far to say holy elders, because think about it. In five, six generations' time, when Granny is a memory, she is buried in the dirt and turned to dust. People are going to say there's... I mean, it, it can't be possible that a single elderly lady at 70 years of age built everything. But we know it's true. We know that that's the case. That gives a whopping 100 opinion of anybody over the age of 65, which is just Granny for the time being. Everybody loves Granny. And God damn it, that's the way it absolutely should be. Oh, Tatiana, oh, I forgot about her. And you know what? Granny kind of likes everybody. She didn't really like flaps. She didn't really like fluffy pops. But you got to remember, they're also the newest recruits, except for the two new people, Pickett and Harry. Who I guess we'll get to renaming. Everybody say howdy to our new friends Bannigan and Buttocks Hair for you. See, I've seen like pretty strong, pretty strong Wild West names, huh? So what are you good at? You're good at social and not a lot else. Maybe a little artistic there. I'll throw you a little speech bubble so we can keep track of you. Buttox Hair for you. Very happy with this because you are going to fill the role of a new medic. Because, sadly, you might remember, poor sweet uh, Marjo was shot down in cold blood in the middle of the street. So I think a dedicated doctor was exactly what we ordered. I've written down all the comments I've seen over the last couple of episodes, over the last couple of days, in fact. And let's talk about my good friend, Dunn. Dunn has had the biggest character arc from start to finish. He came down just to just to join Granny, found a love of ranching animals and sowing plants. He married, he settled down, and then he had it all taken away from him. Granted, he's still got his, still got his ranch. In fact, that's uh, actually kind of nuts. But even before his wife was shot dead, Don was defending this town with the power of Velociraptor. He was inadvertently this colony's defender, and we didn't even realize how valuable he was until it was a little bit too late. Sent him off on a mission. His wife was killed while she was still here. So I asked, what do you think? Do you think he would still follow his passion of being a farmer? Or do you think with hate in his heart and that kind of, uh, you know, natural inclination to defend the colony, do you think he turned to maybe bounty hunting? And then I thought, why not both? The day animals don't need attention all day every day. The plants don't need attention all day every day. He can farm. And when he not farm, he can kill. I don't think there are any warrants out there right now. So to that effect, there was a great comment who said, change the shooting specialist from a bounty hunter to a marshal. You already said the person who's the sheriff should stay in the town. They're the local law enforcement, right? But a marshal goes bringing justice to the whole land. And my God. 
What a great way to sum him up, huh? What I'm looking for is someone else good with animals. So then we can swap them to being a rancher. And Don is free to live out there amongst the wild. Well, there's been another big development in the last couple of days. Velociraptor 2, you might notice, has egg progress. The Velociraptors have been changed. They've been updated to be able to lay fertilized eggs no matter what. You don't need male Velociraptors. They just duplicate themselves. He's going to be Dunn's day because we have the Ranger mod. If we can get him over to the Ranger faction, they can turn him into a proper Ranger. They'll give him equipment. They'll give him some gear, some weapons, a uh, supply kit. And he can go out there and he can bring justice to the realm. And speaking of bringing justice to the realm, cattle rustlers. They got a safe house right there, just outside of the pristine meadows. I trust this town in Flap's hands. He's, he's absolutely proven himself to be the right call for Sheriff. I mean, you've seen what he's... Use jump pack. Hey? What the hell do you... Oh my god, his range armor has a jump pack in it. Oh, well, that's amazing. Sorry, whose man is this? A big part of why this man's been so good at Sheriff, right, is that gorse pistol lore. But out there is a second gorse pistol called Order. And I feel like that'd be a perfect fit for Marshall Dunn. Though I didn't want Flaps to be dual wielding that because that would be incredible. One each. One for out there in the world and one for right back here at home. What sort of journey are we looking at then? If we send Marshall Dunn and if we send him with, uh, with an actual animal he can ride on. Caravan riding has been 160% with the Quagga. Holy shit. Okay. Let's get on it. Fine. We're going to be there in no time then. 1.1 day. Well, that was like three days before, right? Hang on. Form caravan. Route. 3.2 days. You click accept. It's 1.2 days. Oh, you get rid of the... Wait. What? <laughs> oh, now it's 2.2 days. We're more than everybody. Round of applause, please. And we put you on the horse. And then you ride. Oh, this is good, though. I don't know if we've got any travel supplies. We might need to wait for some meat to dry. Or we might have to take you with some... Package survival meals? Have we got anything like that? Pemmican? Actually, you know what? If we haven't got it, now's a good time to talk about it. We could always research it, right? I've removed tech block. A lot of people ask, what's the point of it? What's the point of even having all this other tech if you're making it really hard to get there? We've already got slow research in the, uh, in the ideology. I feel like we don't need to slow it down more, right? Because we're missing so much basic stuff that would have taken ages otherwise. Ah! Turn around. Leave. Leave the map. Leave the map. Oh, watch out for that big snake. Leave, leave the map, though. Don't come this way. No, not the church. Ah, oh, shit. It's okay. It's okay. It's leaving. Nah, and it's coming back again. And it's coming back. Oh, it's coming back with vengeance. Not the church. Not the church. Why have you forsaken us like this, God? <laughs> of all the buildings to destroy. <laughs> no, like, don't run towards the tornado, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I just finished that. Not Granny's Mansion. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do her like that. That's it. Destroy the church. We prefer that. Okay. I think it's finally... Okay. Who? <gasps> because we've got eight people. Emmy has been elected as new town mayor of Rootin' Tootin' Shooters with seven votes. She actually got elected. I didn't even have to rig it. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every single person who could vote voted for Emmy. Because Gundoza is only 13. Oh my god. Emmy, you just took a landslide victory. I wonder if it's because they were all gathered together avoiding the tornado. Emmy, and maybe Emmy got him out the way. So don't go near that, you fucking idiot. Damn, Emmy, you really know your stuff. Maybe you should be in charge. I mean, she was anyway, right? Oh. Oh, that's so good. Look at that. Now, she has to be the governor. She has to run the place now. But you can cook him a meal for the road. Should have got something here. I should stop them eating the, the, the salted meat when we're done with it. And save that one specifically for, for Marshall Dunn to get out there in caravan. Oh. Well, ain't that some shit? Oh, she'd been using it in meals, maybe. Apparently, she's made 76 jars of mega baby food. Don, guess what you're eating, my friend. Once he gets over there, they'll supply him. I don't know if there's anything you need to do, whether you need to pay for entry or, or something like that. We'll find out when we get there, and then I'll say, shit, the poor guy hasn't got any silver. Maybe I'll just send him with silver preemptively. I don't want him to come under attack, though. Hey, it's not meant for a grown man, but it lasts 4.7 days. 
I'll take it. Stolen the research table from the old fort because you can do governing there. While she governs, that's going to increase the governing bar. And while she's the governor, we get plant skill. I think if it drops to zero, they have a re-election. But to be fair, I think they would probably just elect Granny anyway because she's... Oh, we have one every quarter. But I think if it goes to zero, something happens. Like negative moon or something like that. We can also spend uh, like governance to do stuff. I'll be honest. Probably not going to touch it for a while. Let's just let things settle and maybe we'll have a look through that later. A royal visit. 24 honor. Oh my god. Holy crap. Uh, yo just for a yeoman of the Fallen Empire that would like to visit. They need to be here for 10 days. You will gain a large amount of honor during their visit. You must keep their mood above 25%. Lavish bedroom, which uh, we don't have. I guess we could build... Uh, maybe like down here, we could build like a visitor's mansion next to the mayoral mansion it's gonna be like our upper class district we're already gentrifying the damn frontier and we barely started <laughs> i'm gonna commit to that because it's gonna be a massive amount of building and there is far more important stuff to do first now this one is dangerous i have to exhume big bastard bandits one two thousand four hundred silver uh you can take these nuts how about that? You seem happy about- Oh, God. Okay. Wow. I have to exhume Tatiana because you can't reinstall a filled sarcophagus, which is just bizarre, to be honest with you. Very strange game design. You can't even reinstall an empty sarcophagus. So we're going to very, very carefully build her a fresh one. <gasps> I That just fucking disappeared. No! Oh, man. I'm pissed at that. I looked away for one second, I came back and it had gone. Bruh. No, nobody picked it up. I promise you that. Nobody picked it up. It was forbidden. Nobody's got it in their inventory. No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just, it just disappeared. Oh, I guess it just deteriorated away. I'm really angry. I would just wanted to re I just wanted to repurpose this sarcophagus, move it over uh, to be in the middle of the pond, as a memorial to her, and it just disintegrated. Granny opened the lid and it was just dust. You got, I think she just huffed Tatiana. I am acutely aware that it shortened his name to Buttocks. <laughs> oh, and, and on the subject of our frightening colonists, flaps can take. Oh, shit. Right, it's shooting. He's got a single passion in it. We can pick an expertise. Sharpshooter for the sheriff. I mean, come on. Forget about aiming and reloading. That is just too good. And with a gorse rifle, you've really got to be careful of where you're aiming that. Because somebody pointed out that we did more damage with the gorse, with the, with the, with the gorse revolver than the enemies did at all. What the fuck's going on in the general store? Probably a good time to get the shops properly set up then, because not only have we got guests stopping by, I'm going to build a bunch more houses. Either our colonists can take that. Bannigan and Buttocks. <laughs> Buttocks hair. Oh, for God's sake. Freddy's brother has turned up. Or, I was about to say, when we get new colonists, they can move in too, because we've got a prison full of people, right? Big bastard bandits. How many are there? Um, hello. Oh my God, they're dropping in drop pods. Well, that was unexpected. We've got what looks like two over there and three down here. Something like that. Hello. And they've bought, I shit you not, a friggin' lion. Well, I mean, technically a cougar. Okay. Um, Main Street it is, I suppose. Hobo, bring your dynamite. We might need it, little one. Coffee box is broken down. I'm going to see if Emmy can, can... Can she break him out of that? The process is not a time to wardening. Ah, uh, shit. Can we get a, a warden very quickly to deal with this? Fluffy, Fluffy Pops is the person we got in warning. Brilliant. Um, he's a priest, right? The priest should be in there converting people. You can deal with it, my good friend. Bannigan, let's see how useful you really are. And you know what? Let's get Bannigan and Buttocks here well equipped. Where's all my guns these days? Come on, calm him down. Calm him down. Oh my god! Tooth of Blue Horalder is the leader of the Great Danes, right? <gasps> oh, you absolute piece of shit. They're shooting my endangered animals. In that dang sword off. Right, get that. Go, go, get that equipped. Go down there, shoot some rustlers. These aren't even the cattle rustlers, and they're the only ones that have done any cattle rustling. What the fuck is the Velociraptor doing? Put those onions down. <laughs> Velociraptor's running the general store. <laughs> Everybody wanted Velocipasta to actually run the church, but you know what? No, he's made his decision. I'm not telling him how to live his life. Look at them all. They're just hiding in the field. Trying to bait us out. Oh, that's a paddling right there. That's a paddling. Let's spread out. Just spread out. Get in there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sheriff flaps. Already one's down. Great shot from the sheriff. 
Try not to kill them. Frog's down. Don't worry about frog. Don't worry about frog. Get in there, Sheriff. Nice, great shot. Oh, I've got to be careful. We don't accidentally send a shot across the bow and hit <laughs> some more endangered animals. Oh, God. Man, that gorse rifle is frightening, isn't it? Um, let's get you to some cover. You going after my muffalo? Oh! I fucking knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. You moron! <laughs> <laughs> can Sheriff flaps at his collateral damage every time. <laughs> oh, please get out of the way, Muffalo. I can't bear to see any others get shot. Oh, nice work. Oh, he's an absolute murderer with that, though, isn't he? Just murdering a lot of the wrong things. Price knows where they've all gone to. They're back shooting my endangered animals again. God, they are obsessed with that, aren't they? Well, Granny's heading over. Buttocks, you might want to go rest, my friend. Granny's coming over to... Ooh! Uh, Inessa. Inessa wasn't trained. Um, Big Sawaro, what are you doing? You're carrying that to go be butchered. Hey, uh, come up here and knife that cougar for me. Bloody hate these frigging cats. If you kill my only Velociraptor, Dom will never forgive you. Dom will go on an all-out rampage. Oh my god, please be careful. Nice, good lasso. Finish it off. Flaps, come back here. Finish it off. I turned to run running gun because I don't know where any of them are. Shoot the cougar. I mean, it's fleeing. Is it playing or is it after a delicious hobo meal? You better run. Oh! Oh, come on. How many landed? Jesus Christ. Oh, they're carrying her off. They're carrying her off. I don't think we can get over there in time. They're actually going to stick. Oh, my God. We are arse handed to us by these bandits today. Uh, the fact that they just disappear into the foliage is kind of fun. Also very frustrating because I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go or where I'm supposed to expect them. They're just going to carry her off. She's going to be dead. She's dead. And now there's a blight on my hay grass. A tornado knocks down the church. We get attacked by bandits. They kill my 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 best muffalo dies. Have we been cursed? And Emmy, Emmy is carrying frog. Emmy, you fucking idiot. What are you doing? Just self-tend for fuck's sake, man. You're the doctor. Self-tend is on, by the way. And oh, by the way, so is doctoring. You even saw him just get back into bed then. Moron. Okay, it stops it up. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Tend the Velociraptor. Oh, shit. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. Freddy's gone berserk. I can't. I can't juggle this. Or Dunn's gone and it's just all gone to shit immediately. Why do you keep building such enormous towns? Velociraptor's gone. This is, this is fucked. Oh, on the plus side, we sold a hat. <laughs> Enjoy your hat. Oh, you look very fetching in it. Wow, yeah, no, that really suits you. That's good. Man, absolute nightmare. They just uh, drop potting in on every side when we've got a town this big. Am I going to have to extend that wall? I don't want to do that, though. I like the idea of having a big open town, but... I don't know if we can get away with it this time. Well, knife him, then! I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Emmy, is frog fine? Frog's tended. Right, what about the people lying down dying? Oh, they've all died. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Dunn's just living his best life. Oh, he's almost there. Man, he has hauled ass with that with that horse, hasn't he? You better you better patch up those animals, because I mean when Dunn comes back, he's gonna go postal. The fact that we've lost an endangered animal and we've lost Queen Muffalo. A Muffalo won? Congratulations. The Queen is dead. Long live the Queen. Welcome back. Back over here in a far more sensible place. Dunn has made it to the Rangers capital in Novak. And look at that. Enlist with the Rangers. Sign a new contract with the Rangers. I wonder what we have to do in exchange, though. Oh. Oh, well, that's quite nice. Look at all this we've got going on. We're now allied with the Rangers. That's good. Uh, hello, this is a message from Tommy. I would like to formally welcome you to our agency, the Rangers. Please make yourself at home at any of our outposts and do your best to be a good Ranger. You're entitled to collect a salary every week and daily provisions from any of our outposts. There's only one, obviously. Please make use of our facilities to become a more effective ranger in the field. That is sick. We can drop off outlaws to stand trial. We can resign. Fair enough. Uh, drop pod. Thousand silver. And they'll blast us to somewhere on the map, I presume. Okay, fair enough. We can see our missions. Salary. Okay, obviously we've got to wait seven days for that. And provisions. Ten ranger rations, five medicine, and four Mufferberg root beer. Hmm. Ranger Issue gives him a combat knife, a Colt Walker, two dusters, a bandolier, a sling, Ranger Helmet, Ranger Armor. Oh, cool. Store items here. Oh, from the, from the caravan, we can put it in there and pick it up later. Man, this is a cool idea. Check him with the hospital. 
Okay, so we can just toggle that on. And he's just there visiting the hospital. Fair enough. Training in medical. So he can he can build up his own medical, social, and intellectual skills. Cool. Training in combat. Man, this is... Uh, it's a chicken plucker mod, so you'd expect it to be cool. Uh, so, the, so the issue we can take every 30 days. Well, take that. And let's have a look at some missions then. Let's see what maybe soon to be Marshall Dunn can do out there in the world. We should check if any of those people I captured have, uh, have uh, animal handling skill. Make someone else the rancher. Holy shit. <laughs> what is happening? This is like a whole new game. Oh my god, look at all of this. Breaking Monty out, Leafy. So it just generates a bunch of quests for you. Feldo and the camp. We need 50 silver to buy a quest. Ah, oh, shit. What did I say before I left? Should really bring some silver. Oh, God. I don't think we've got any animal skill across the board with any of these people. Seven animals. Cat person. Oh, you're leaving. <laughs> I'm going to kick this man out. We weren't so desperate for a build that you'd be done for. But we haven't got a choice. We have not got a choice. And I guess there's nothing else for it. Let's build some more houses. Now, these are going to be slightly smaller houses. Obviously, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a weird neighborhood we've got going on over here. Oh, God. Well, suck on my toes and call me a muffalo. I accidentally left the game unpaused when I was talking on the phone. Ah, oh, shit. We had a transport pod crash. Probably a bit late for that one. A coyote self-tamed. We had a granular pod, obviously irrelevant. But this one's important. A silo manager named Redfoot has arrived. You have a relationship with one of my prisoners. You're Mitch's fiance. Um, I'll keep Mitch, I suppose. I guess I've got to bring you as well then, eh? Fine, I'm alright with that. Hello there. Oh my god, and we can reform the ideology again. Bloody hell, that was a fast turnaround. To be fair, we had a lot of points from last time, eh? Um, happy, 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 where are you? Oh, you're probably not very happy anymore. I can't jump to location, so I think we buried you. What the hell is even that? Where's Don? Oh, he's almost home! Don. We've apparently had some rare thrombos wandering. Look at that. There's even a notification right there. Holy shit. Forget about the, the quagga or the quagga or the, the whatever the hell they're called. This is a much bigger upgrade. Caravan from the helpful fellas. Nice. Mitch's son. Who's Mitch? Is Mitch someone in our prison? Don't you? Doesn't need to know that. Hello. Oh, yeah. Mitch is the guy in the prison. Hang on. Is Redfoot that other person's mother? Very confusing. Oh, cool. Hello. Welcome, Redfoot. How you looking? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, you're looking all right. <laughs> Loathful. 35% reduction to work speed. Uh. She does, though, to be fair, have 11 intellectual and a critical passion for it. We could just stick her behind a desk and have her do the research. Even though she's, she's shite. I'm, I'm ordering people based on when they join the colony, basically. Even though she's shite, that will more than make up for it because you'll get up to 20 skill much sooner and that will uh, what exactly cancel out the minus 35 percent but she'll be a faster worker with the higher level good very nice oh man these thrombo though are a gift is it only there are two where well, the other ones disappeared too but we will take both absolutely i mean this is what Dunn was this is what Dunn's here for granny's finally finished rebuilding the church she's almost finished repairing it as well tatiana's grave <laughs> is finished too very nice and look at that we got the skeletons of the houses ready to lay some stuff in oh man the myth the legend it is neville dunn everyone and look at that he's got himself the ranger armor too now because he's an official ranger unlike uh flaps who's like an honorary ranger you know he's a sheriff man he looks good like that though eh all the armor matching perfectly. Let's get these Thrombos tamed. Oh, like, don't do anything else. Unloading adventure. Okay, fair enough. You can do that. And he's on it. This is the upgrade. This is when we go from old, just rancher done, a little bit down on his luck. It's a bit of an understatement. His wife and unborn child was shot and killed. <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit of lucky there. Today's is a change of pace. He goes from being rancher done to the Thrombo riding. Oh! 3.3% chance. 3.3. Is that it? Fucking hell. Even with 14.87 animals and the rancher roll that gives 200 times chance. Oh, 200%. Sorry, times 200%. Not 200 times. Otherwise, that would be that would be a ridiculous amount. You better tame it straight away. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's such a small chance to happen, but you've got to see it. You've got to see it. 3.3. It's 6% chance every day, but they're only going to hang around for, what, like three days and then they're gone? Shit. I only want one thrombo just for done as well. Hang on, are they are they male and female? Female, male. Oh my god, we'd be able to get one for everyone. Kangaroo self-tamed. What the fuck is going on? 
Where are we getting all these damn animals? Okay, whatever. Welcome aboard, I suppose. What I have done is unrestricted the, uh... Velociraptor? Hey. What was it, shot? No. Am I going mad? Wait, am I... Maybe it went wild? Velocity... There... Oh, don't start this again. There... La, there well, it's not there. I know it begins with V-E-L at the very minimum. They're telling me they're all gone. What about, like, egg fertilized? It's gone. Was it shot? Am I going mad? Oh, Don, I'm sorry. I got some bad news, my friend. Everything you've ever known or loved is being taken away from you. Well, uh, besides this lovely new house, which actually belongs to him. Who installed the bed around that way? Now that we haven't got any sort of major restrictions on research, again, it's still very slow, but we've got some good researchers at this point, to be honest. We can go for a full-on milk production, right? Uh, how do I, how do I even get to that? Is it like manufacturing? M milk? Something. Vegetable milk. No, cheese making. Yeah, show me cheese making. Maybe that's the start. Somewhere on this research trend, I'm not sure what it would be called, is, is it manufacturing? There, there is a way to make piped milk. We get the muffalo, we pipe the milk, we turn it into cheese. That can be a big part of the ranch house, right? Milk. Pipe network. We've already got it unlocked. Holy crap. Let's throw down a few milk tanks. The sad part is I'm using it for a ranch, and you know for a fact this mod was made for <clears throat> illegitimate reasons. I need to say no more. I need to see something legendary here done. I need to see some legendary behavior here, my friend. Come on. 3.3% chance failed again. Is he going to go for the other one? Oh, God, this is heartbreaking. This could be a real big... Hello? <laughs> this could be a real big break for Dunn. Come on. Come on, Thrombo. Come on, Thrombo. Come on, Thrombo. Oh, I, I should just give up hope, shouldn't I? This is heartbreaking. Well, sadly, friends, not a single Thrombo. Who could have guessed it? But there is a consolation prize. Beer brewing. <laughs> oh, at long last, we can do something valuable with the saloon. We need a brewer. Oh, and there's actually a fermenting barrel, too. Oh, shit. We're going to have to blast down a bunch of those. We still haven't got any way to get steel. I, I'm going to try and capture everybody we down because the people that we don't want, we can just send them off to an outpost somewhere to do mining or whatever to try and help out the town. That seems like a good idea. We've got the gold rush mod that recently had an incredible retexture. Of course, both that and Fanaron's retexture have been thrown into the new version of the mod pack, but we can't do anything with that. That is 250 steel. But if we were able to get the gold... Oh, imagine the statue of Tatiana I could build with that. That's got to be our ultimate goal, right? All of Dunn's adventures, all of his questing, when we turn him into a full-blown ranger. We'll send him out there again soon to go and have a look, of course. We need to buy some quests and whatnot. Get him the gun first. That's got to get him the gun, do the quest as a ranger, make a bunch of money, use that to buy gold, gold statue of Tatiana. I'm pretty happy with that. We are not going to get time today to get order, but tomorrow I think we set up Ranger done. I, I, I'm, I'm totally on board with the idea now. Seeing all those Ranger missions and stuff, I've got to have a look at that, right? We've got to check that out because I'm never going to... When, when, when is there going to be a better opportunity than the series in the Wild West? What we can do, though, finally, Mayor Emmy, was make her a yeoman. Where are we having it? In the saloon. <laughs> Why? Oh, because it's a party spot? Oh, God, that's great. Holy shit. Nine people there to see her finally blessed by the Empire. I like this a lot. I feel like it's been a great day for the colony founders, right? Emmy gets to be yeoman. Finally is recognized as mayor too. Like, after a really successful campaign. I don't think I can really call it a successful campaign. She was going to win no matter what when we picked elders, right? Done. Actually enlisted as a full-blown ranger to make sure the same injustice that happened to him doesn't happen to anyone else. Thrombo really would have been the the cherry on the cake, right? But you know what will make it even better? Let's have a good bestowing ceremony here in the saloon. Caprina wants to stay. Who the hell is Caprina? We'll have a look at that in a second. First things first, though. You built a town so nice that guests are just offering to join us. Look at that. Honorable bestowing ceremony. Two more honor because the whole town was here and the whole town supports her. I like that a lot. Thank you. Uh, hello. Sorry, guest wants to stay. Uh, jump to location. You know animals? You know plants? She's an architect and a fast walker. Oh, she's a Granlin kind. It's a, it's a generous offer. But I'm not sure I need you there. Oh, God. I mean, natural disasters aside, I'm not sure I need another plants character, right? Although I suppose if Dunn's going to hit the road, 
The only other good plants character we've got is like Fluffy Pops. Busy running the whole procession. You know what? Fine. Fine, God damn it! Join me. Welcome. I should take on everybody. Oh, sir, welcome to the colony. Immediately getting ready by throwing on a duster and putting on a cowboy hat. Yo, you'll settle in in no time, my friend. Welcome. God damn, we've picked up a lot of people fast. Thankfully, queued up a lot of houses. Granted, we're going to need... Oh, no, we didn't even need more wood. It's all ready to go for when Amy wakes up. So this house is actually going to turn into a bunkhouse because somebody said ages ago, I think I brought it up in a video, that Western towns would have a bunch of bunkhouses for workers where they'd all just share it like a barracks. So that's exactly what this building's going to be. And we filled out the middle of town pretty well. Still like Main Street. I, th I feel like it just does need to come down here a little bit more, doesn't it? But I think things are looking good. I'm kind of happy with it. Let's check the minimap. How's that looking? Ah, uh, okay. That looks like a town. Now, someone did leave a comment. And I totally agree. We've got to build some Tinctoria. So we can't do anything with it for a while yet. But I'll plant some ready for next season. We've got to paint the buildings. Because whenever you look at any image of a Wild West town... All the fronts are painted blue and green and red and ridiculous colors. And everything's looking a little bit brown right now, isn't it? So if we slap down some some more visual changes, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I think that could look really good. Well, I said today was going to be Dunn's episode. And then we ended up revering elders, getting her elected as mayor and turning her into a yeoman. So I think, and of course, she single-handedly rebuilt a church after a natural disaster struck. I think it's been her day more than anything. But I'm very excited to see what a dedicated marshal can do. With that ranger faction, I mean, it's so perfect. What a cool mod, though, eh? I'm very excited to see what we can do with that. We'll get him the gun, and then that's our background task, right? While I'm sitting here building cities and buildings, he can be out there bringing peace to the realm. No more deserters, no more people getting shot. You know what? I'm coming around to it a little bit. It's, it's looking better than I thought it would. There's still some messy bits here and there that need tidying up, but... My god, it's going places, eh? And the best part is, we got a time lapse of the whole thing, so kept progress renderer going this time. So, much like the last couple of series I think we've done. It's going to be really interesting to see this one more than anything else, right? Just house after house slowly popping up. Basically down to one person, too. Absolutely nuts. Thank you for joining me. Very excited to jump through the research tree this time. Patrons, glorious, precious, special to me, patrons. Thank you for being a part of this uh, nonsense. I apologize again that I have not yet updated the list or made an update video or whatever. Today, I was able to tick off a lot of my to-do list. I finally built some furniture for this house. <laughs> it's very difficult to move into a totally unfurnished house with no furniture and also stay on top of, you know, 10 hours a day of whatever it is we do on this bloody channel. So thank you all for bearing with me. Um, and the puppy, too. That was a poor idea. Thank you for joining me, too. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be back to just, like, stability very, very shortly. It's, it's almost all finished at this point. Thank you in the meantime to Little Bicky, Guardian Easter, Soul Lapis Golem, Voyager 04, Ruck, Mr. Dranger, Lost Eden 42, Aronidas, Super Awesome Goku, Zachary Whitaker, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Pump Action Shotty, Miliani 802.11, Beta Soldier, Pika Pia, Michael Bolt, Nikki Sticks, Cubes of Ham, Dranmere, Jenny, Cyric 313, and the one and only and legendary Master of Worlds 22. Thank you for joining me. I promise I'm not trying to specifically leave people at the end of the list who are like, you know, like on the Discord. It's not, it's not intentional, but, you know, these things happen, don't they? Thanks for joining me. When you read out this many names, sometimes weird shit occurs. Come back tomorrow for a little more rim rim.